I believe that there is a connection, an extraterrestrial connection to Revelstoke. And I can say this because I do the same protocols anywhere I go. And I've been to many, 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 many places um, doing this very thing that we're doing this week. And the best experiences I've had have been here in Revelstoke. It, it, it's, it's my home, it's my stomping grounds. And, um, and this is where, this is where I like to come and, and make contact. I've been insisting for the two and a half years that I've known you guys that you guys need to make a uh, make a trip to Revelstoke. Um, it's a magical place. We're 8,000 feet up above um, sea level. There's still snow here. It's almost August. It's late July, and there's still three feet of snow outside. So this is rugged. It's far away from everything. It's elevation. There's no light pollution. Um, but it's a sacred place to me. I've had experiences that I have never had my entire life at the top of this mountain that have shattered my belief system. I believe that there is a connection, an extraterrestrial connection to Revelstoke. And I can say this because I do the same protocols anywhere I go. And I've been to many, 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 many places um, doing this very thing that we're doing this week. And the best experiences I've had have been here in Revelstoke. It, it, it's, it's my home, it's my stomping grounds. and. Um, and this is where, this is where I like to come and, and make contact. It's, uh, it's the most isolated place that you could possibly imagine. It's, a, it's, it's magical. It's absolutely magical. The importance of contact today, and I'll just, I'll explain for myself, and, and this goes for every person that's in my group here in Revelstoke. I have a, a group of, of almost 30 people. And as soon as you learn that you're not alone, as soon as you get definitive proof that you are no, no longer the only species in this universe, something changes and your purpose in life changes. And it, it, it brings the good out of people. It, they call it Jesus-like. It has nothing to do with religion, but when people find God, their lives change in a positive way. And I cannot explain the physical and mental changes that I've seen in people that have learned to make contact, gone after continual contact, and the changes that happen in their lives and in their families and the people around them, it's, I, I, I can't put it into words. It changed my world, it changed my life, it changed the way I love, it changed the way I feel, uh, it changed the way I treat the planet. And I think what's so important about contact is that if everybody felt the way that I feel, the world would change in a day. And every single person who is new to human-initiated contact or, or even just trying to establish a relationship with our extraterrestrial family, they, they all go through the same changes. It's mind-boggling. I don't understand how it works, but it does. It's very, 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 very important for people to realize that we are not alone and that there's a much bigger world out there, a much bigger picture out there. Rob's a remarkable man. Rob is, uh, runs circles around me. He, uh, he can stay up all night, every day of the week. Um, this is his passion. Um, sky watching has changed Rob a whole, a whole lot too, and I have more respect for him than, than just about anybody on this planet. I love the man. He is beyond dedicated and um, he has he, he has made contact. He's uh, got top 10 in the world for one of the videos of of contact that, that he was able to acquire in Squamish, the Squamish Orb. And uh, just to sum it up, Rob Freeman is uh, the most honest, most s skeptical, critical. Any sighting has to go through a gamut of um, of fail safes before it's before it's uh, deemed authentic and believe me they're far and few between but being with this man has uh, given me those far and few betweens multiple times we go up and we go away and uh, and we work hard for it the places that we've been I've seen Rob 
work himself to, to sickness over the course of a week because he's doing such rugged things. This, this is not an easy job to do it successfully. This is not easy. We are, we are doing it because we love it. And uh, there's a lot of sacrifices that go with it physically and mentally. Every single person that I've ever seen experience for their very first time the changes are immediate i mean people cry they they get emotional um and i mentioned belief systems being shattered when you see a craft or when you see something tangible that you can't deny the changes are are immediate and i love taking new people out I don't care if somebody tells me they're a skeptic. I have taken so many people out that were skeptics on the way up and they were not skeptics on the way down. So I really, I, that's, that's one of my favorite things in life now is to see somebody experience something for the first time and have them explain to me how it made them feel. And it's amazing how <clears throat> everybody feels the same way. I get the same answer every single time and they feel a, 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 a sense of love and a sense of comfort. And, um, you know, the, the fear is gone, the skepticism is gone, and the changes begin.